Welcome back to the channel. So yesterday on Sunday, I got this epic banger of an order. $142 from Walmart. Seven deliveries for just over 40 miles. It only took me an hour and 53 minutes. Heck yeah. Ordinarily, we don't shirt, we don't little, we don't chase surge, but I'm three minutes away from $28 of surge. Let's see if we can snag this. We just finished our stack of seven deliveries. All right, so the surge is still happening. All I gotta do is just go through it, and then my next ride will be like, it'll have all that surge attached to it. My next delivery or my next ride. Actually, I think what I'll do, let me bust a Yui here. I'll just wait this for you. I think this, I can still get the surge if I'm waiting in this earth. I've legit gotten crazy surge here in this area before. Like, this is deja vu. I'm in the parking lot of this restaurant here, and uh, one time I got surge. It was like this this one mile ride that was paying 25 bucks all day, all day. That that does not happen too often. All right, let me see. Bingo. You see that? You see that? 28. And you see that? 142 and seven trips. Let's go. OMG, I can't believe that happened. It was real. 142 and seven trips. I cannot believe that happened. I thought it was fake. I'm like, no way. When I saw that request come through. All right. So we got 28 bucks of surge now. And let's go hunting for something. I'll do anything. Like I'll literally do anything. I'll do a, a no tipper. And you see that? The surge just went away. So we got the surge. We got here just in time to get the surge. That is money, folks. You see that? It still says $28 next trip. I normally advocate not chasing surge. Don't ever chase. But in this circumstance, it's gonna pay dividends. And we were close to it already. Like we were like five minutes away from where that little red bubble was in the map. That was clutch. All right, so I've only been driving for less than two hours today, and we've already made 142. Let me see. No, a little over two hours, okay. And we made 142. Um, let's see what we can get. It's not much of a heat map right now. Oh, that's a nice Porsche next to me. Where I live, I live, my apartment building is like right behind a Porsche dealership. Porsche, excuse me, it's pronounced Porsche. Right behind a Porsche dealership in South Austin. If you do a little detective work, <laughs> you can probably figure out which complex I'm at. In 
fact, if you're really creepy, you could even figure out which unit I'm at. <laughs> but I'm counting that I'm not gonna have any crazy cyber stalkers watching these videos. Give me like a trip to San Antonio. This is what they do. I can't be completely mad at Uber though. If they did, I think I would go to San Antonio because they just gave me that stack of seven Walmart deliveries for $142. How can I be mad at Uber today? bucks Costco oh, I don't want to go to Costco I hope to God they don't send me that I'll be so mad freaking Costco please don't send me that someone else take it please I don't want to go to Costco Let's make sure, yep, we've got everything turned on. Costco orders suck. Like, not all of them do. I've gotten some good ones. The other day I had a Costco order that was like seven items and it paid 30 bucks. And I think it was less than 10 miles of driving. I'd do that all day, but think about it. Christmas is a week away. Do you really want to go to Costco on a Sunday? It's a complete madhouse on Sunday. I'm just fearful that they're still going to send me that Costco order. That was 18 miles, and yes, it would have paid 38 bucks with the surge attached. But what that tells me is the person's not tipping and the pay would have originally been $10 for 18 miles of driving plus shopping at Costco for them. Screw those people. We're not doing that. Another Costco. No. Why is it all Costco? Spoiler alert, Uber gave me the bleepity bleepin' Costco order for $38 and 18 miles. Woohoo! Yup, did I not tell you? $35. So that cheap mofo is gonna tip $3, possibly. Did I not tell, did I not call that? Wow, that's loud. <sighs> Some old Porsche was accelerating. Um, I just picked up from GoPuff. I was headed home. It's like three o'clock right here in the afternoon. And I'm like, I'm just gonna go home for a smoke break or whatever. It's really slow between three and five. Um, and I got a GoPuff offer. If you don't know what GoPuff is, it's kind of like a Dash Mart type place. And you just pick up um, alcohol or snack items for people. Um, and I think the offer was like $11 for six miles or something 
I'll do that all day, you know? So... Right now we're sitting at 177. And I've been on the road for three hours. I mean, I don't know why today has been so good, but I'm not complaining, okay? That Costco order was a little bit meh, but thank God I was able to look out and stumble upon that $28 a surge. And that turned that shop and pay into a, a little gold mine. It would have been nice if I had been offered like a cheap ass Uber ride or something, you know, real quick, just get it over with and make an easy, you know, 30 some bucks, but hey, I was able to to shop for cheap ass Mary, do her shopping for her, and I still made off with 38 bucks, so not too bad. I would do that trade all day. Money is money, whether people tip or not. It would be nice, though, if people weren't Scrooges like that. Like, literally, she, I believe she tips $3 for that. When we see the final pay, I'll show it to you. I had to drive 18 miles on top of shopping at Costco for her for eight items, which were all over the store. This car moves people, like, if you've ever driven a Fusion Hybrid, like, they haul, they haul. It's quick, it's got a lot of pickup. It's similar to driving, like, a V6 car with a decent amount of horsepower, but you get much better gas mileage. It's hard for me not to do over 40 MPGs, like, no matter how I drive this car. All right. So, it says I gotta turn left here. I'm not sure. It's this right here. There's like two apartment complexes right next to each other. I think it's this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.